are you doing? So we now know Hawkeye is getting a buff. But I, I believe it's been confirmed by Kabam. He's now getting a nerf. So he got buff. Now he's getting a nerf. Which is really disappointed. With Kabam, you just really can't expect much from them. They just somehow screw it up all the time for some reason. So he got a buff. Now he's like he's going to get a nerf. And I said, if, you know, looking at his buff details when it comes to Hawkeye, I was saying that he's going to hit really hard, you know. And I was willing to bet that, you know, he was able to take down L Labyrinth of Legends Red Hulk in 120 hits or less. I wouldn't even be surprised if it was less than 100 hits with a 5 star rank 5 max sig, you know. And uh, the fact that he's going to get nerfed, I don't think, you know, we, I don't think with, you know, max deep wounds, suicide, max sig, rank five, five star would be able to take down Labyrinth of Legends Red Hulk with full synergies. It's possible maybe, but very unlikely not. So a little disappointed that Hawkeye is going to get nerfed. I mean, I'll be surprised, you know, even with Suicide Masteries as a rank 5 max sig full synergy. Could even take down Labyrinth of Legends, Red Hulk in 133 hits. Uh, uh, nerf wise, pre, uh, post nerf. And Karnak can do that with Suicide Masteries. I mean, maybe Hawkeye can do it. But he'll probably finish around 10% health. I saw I saw Nick136 do it. Not only took down Labyrinth of Legends Red Hulk in 133 hits. He, did, he finished it with 100% health. And, and Hawkeye, there's no way. Running Suicide Masteries, there's no way he's going to finish. Obviously, with 100% health. He's probably going to finish around 10% health. You could run without Suicide Masteries with um, Hawkeye post nerf but his damage is not going to be that great i mean i mean it's going to be decent but not great you know disappointed when it comes to hawkeye's nerf but it is what it is when i compare the hawkeye buff compared to karnak's buff karnak's buff is like miles ahead maybe some people will prefer hawkeye's buff even though post nerf but not me it's just a little disappointed when it comes to hawkeye being nerf i mean i think right now he's currently without pre-nerf he is god tier uh post nerf i don't think he's god tier hawkeye maybe with synergy he is but not definitely not by himself i don't think he's going to be god tier buff especially the fact that he's going to get nerfed another thing that i forgot i want to mention is when it comes to Synergy wise, when it comes to Hawkeye, so he gains an immunity to poison debuffs. So now it just from non mutant champ against non mutant champions. So I know it's been confirmed, I've seen it myself, that this is also including Liquid Courage, but that's actually not only uh, it, it's all it's good and bad in a way because. When you look at uh uh his synergy with Hercules, let's look at this. So if you have like Nick Fury on the team or something, he'll be immune to poison. That's including liquid courage. But that's bad thing is if you have Hercules, if you're running Liquid Courage, he gained uh hero champions. You know, like Hawkeye, he gains 15% attack bonus with, ha with having un uh, Liquid Courage on you. So if you have Nick Fury on your team, you're going to lose that 15% attack if you have a 6-star Hercules. So 5-star Hercules, it's only 10% uh, extra attack. So keep that in mind. So that's going to be a... If you have Nick Fury, he will get rid of the poison 
uh, liquid courage and he'll be immune to poison but it's not and if you have but if you have Hercules in your team you're not going to have that extra you know attack boost if you're running liquid courage so when it comes to Hawkeye I'm a definitely disappointed that they're going to nerf him uh, that's that's about it I will be doing gameplay when it comes to uh, Joe fix it Joe fix it also got a buff so let's look at Joe fix it I will do a gameplay so far when it comes to Joe fix it buff I mean it's not a I don't think he's got tier, but he's definitely much better than he was before and that's a lot I think a lot of improvement when you think about it you know I think his attack is at least double if not triple the way that he used to be but that's not really saying much you know considering that it took me 663 hits to take down realm of legends winter soldier to be fair I could have probably played it more oftenly mean, meaning I couldn't take down winter soldier with less hits if I played more better um, also keep in mind I was using um, a rank one six star unawakened um what is that no synergy so just to keep that in mind but let's say uh let's say they triple his damage you know 221 hits that's still a lot even though it's uh you know also obviously he doesn't have he has class disadvantage as well but even with that Class disadvantage and awaken no synergy 221 hits to take down realm of legends Winter soldier that's that's not good i mean to, even at 200 hits that's okay but that's not good especially the fact that he's that's i'm talking about buff wise that's not good i mean i think his attack wise is just going to be average uh his regen is more easier now though to access compared to pre-buff so which is also nice but when you compare Joe fix it to like King Groot or something it's just like King Groot is miles better he just has better regeneration better damage better utility you know I mean Joe fix it does have an advantage over King Groot he can like reverse heal and King Groot can't do that he can only really heal block with his armor break and poison if you're running as well if you're running uh, despair but that's about it i mean i don't consider him to be god tier but i think people might want to play with him rank him out for fun but to complete contents wise i don't expect a lot of people to play with joe fix it to complete contents for fun i think he's definitely fun to play with so the so we'll be doing a joe fix it gameplay and until um uh for you for the people the millions of you guys sarcasm <laughs> are waiting for the dark hawk uh, i mean the hawkeye gameplay i haven't done it because he is going to get nerfed that's why i'm still waiting for the nerf for him to get patched up uh the ner uh for him to be fixed or nerf however you want to call it so because i don't want to mislead you people uh mislead you people that that his damage is what it is currently currently he's supposed to be doing too much damage for kabam standard so they're gonna nerf him so that's it guys thank you